Einmalen. Alright, so that was a Pine Martin. Well, what are they called? They're actually called American Martin. It's not a Pine Martin, but that's what a lot of people call them. Uh, but that's an American Martin. And the squirrels are still going a little crazy. He finally snuck away. He posed for me really good right up on this tree. It was wonderful. He was curious. But I, I followed the squirrels right to him. So uh, I do that a lot with owls as well. And honestly, I thought for sure I had found an owl. The way the squirrel was going berserk there. And uh, it turned out it was a different kind of predator that the squirrels don't like. And that was an American Martin. So I hear more squirrels here going crazy. So I'm looking for them again. They just vanish in this tall grass and stuff. Uh, boy, I don't see what they're barking at right here. But uh, that's awesome. That's one of the cool things about going in the woods and paying attention and listening is the creatures that live in the woods will often tell you what's going on. That was another good example of that. So I made a few photos there. He was in a really nice spot. And for an American Martin, he stood still for uh, more than a few seconds. And that's awesome <laughs> because that does not happen that often. Uh, so anyway, it looks like I lost track of him. The squirrels still see something. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back to just moving around. So uh, welcome to the vlog. Hey, I'm Steve Mathis. And I'm out here today, just hiking around in the woods, looking for anything interesting. And that already happened out here. Man, they must see them, but I sure don't. Uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna keep cruising around out here. Uh, today, I've got the monopod with the Nikon Z9 and the 402.8 lens, which is perfect for the dark woods. And I've got a couple hours of daylight and just wanted to come see what I could see and get out and hike around. And uh, it's already paid off with a nice photo of an American Martin. So hopefully I can find some more stuff for you, make a better vlog than like a three and a half minute long vlog about a like one photo of an American Martin. So, all right, I'm gonna poke around and see if I can find what this squirrel's barking at. Maybe relocate that Martin, relocate, relocate that Martin and um, see what else appears out here. So that's the deal out here. Thanks for joining me and I'll get back to you soon. That guy, he's going berserk up there. So next up on my list of stuff I found in the woods is a cinnamon colored black bear with a cub asleep in a tree. Uh, the cub just went climbed higher in the tree when they saw me and mama is just chilling in the tree hanging out. She looks totally awkward, uh, but totally cool with me. Just chilling. So there's a squirrel barking that way. I don't know what it's barking at, but I don't think they're barking at the bears. Uh, but anyway, super cool to see us out with a cub. She's gonna wanna kind of defend the cub, but she obviously knows I'm here. She's looked right at me. She heard me coming, all that stuff. And she is literally just falling asleep in the tree. So uh, I don't feel at all like I'm disturbing her or intimidating her or anything. Uh, so I'm comfortable sitting here talking for a minute, but I am just gonna keep moving here. I've made a few snapshots and uh, I'm gonna keep moving through the woods and just keep looking around. I might go investigate what that squirrel's barking at a little bit. 
but uh, super cool to see. So, so far, a really fun, fun little trip into the woods. And I'd like to keep this good luck rolling. This is awesome. But anyway, there, there's the bear straight out there across that meadow in that tree. And it's awesome. It's Predator Day with that American Martin and now uh, a cinnamon colored black bear and the cub. Awesome. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. No barking from the dog, no smog. And mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. Anybody know? Today was a good day. That's right, a little ice cube for you. You're welcome. So I got the trifecta today. You can't see him out there, but it's a great gray owl kind of parked in that gnarly old tree up there. And it's just doing a lot of chilling. Uh, so today was a day of predator, obviously. We had the bear, the marten, and now the owl. So that is a good day. Uh, nothing too interesting yet with the owl. It's just been perched there, looking around. Um, but hopefully it'll, it'll start hunting here soon-ish and I can make some photos so I'm keeping my eye on it in case it decides to fly. I'll totally miss the photo but at least I'll be able to watch where it goes. So uh, Anyway, I've got an owl here. I'm gonna hang until it's dark and hopefully it'll get out and start moving around a little bit and then I'll get back on the GoPro and uh, show you what's happening out here. But uh, Anyway, right down there chilling.
it started raining and it's gorgeous. The owl's right over there. All right, I gotta put this thing down before I miss something good. The owl's right there through the bush. He flew and landed over there. So I'm shooting through the bush and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Uh, at f2.8, it's like blurry foreground and stuff. It's kind of artistic and interesting. Uh, I'm gonna get back to shooting him, but that's what's happening in this next one where it's kind of blurry and uh, a little bit soft. Just shooting straight through a bush right here to the owl. Manual focus and then it actually picks up eye tracking, uh, which is amazing. This is awesome. That orange stuff behind them is amazing. It's giving me really cool, like orange bokeh. Just that last little bit of sunlight punching through. And at f2.8, it just gets blurry and awesome. And I'm shooting it uh, minus two thirds on exposure comp here to keep it nice and dark and contrasty. This is amazing. He just came and landed right there. It's awesome. I love these great gray owls, man. How amazing is this? Look at that. Can you see him in that tree right behind me? Probably not, but he, uh, I'm going home. <laughs> he just did a awesome like flyby within two feet of me and landed right up on this tree. And uh, he's just gonna cruise around, but it's getting dark. I'm shooting at really high ISOs and uh, I still got a hike out of here. But uh, anyway, that dude was incredible and he gave me like one of the most magic evenings I've had in months and uh, just a complete joy an absolute pleasure to be out here watching that thing hunt he only caught one gopher while I was here but I just sat here and with him for a couple of hours and for an animal, wild animal, that uh, I have such admiration for to let me into its world for a couple hours is amazing. Oh, there he goes. Uh, so that's gonna be the end anyways, even if I wanted to keep going, but uh, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, maybe buy a hat, 600 millimeters and be there, you know, for when Bigfoot appears. That's good advice, right? Steve Mathis Design. Go check him out. Link in the description. <laughs> and that's all. Have a great day. See you on the next one.